Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Andrew, your stutter in tech, back with another video. And today I have the Fire Max 11. Now, I've already done a unboxing and first impressions video of this tablet, but in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can install the Play Store and get access to millions of apps from uh, through the Google Play Store and do away with the Amazon App Store and for lack of a better word, it just sucks. The Amazon App Store sucks. It doesn't have a lot of the apps that I like to use. So there's, there are a couple of things you're gonna to need to do. And just so I wanna get this out of the way, Amazon don't actually want you to install the Play Store on their tab tablets, but I mean, come on, you should have that. You, you, know, you know your store sucks, but you know, that's just them trying to promote everything that they have like audible and and, and free v which i do use the free v so that i do love the free v and the prime videos so without further ado let me show you some this the first steps you need to do to get everything up and running so the first thing you're going to need to do is go to settings and this is something that you don't have to do but i like doing this and that is going to security and privacy and then scrolling down to apps from unknown sources you want to go to apps from unknown sources by default you you're not going to have chrome browser installed but you will have the silk you will go to silk and then you will take this um you will check uh check the uh allow from allow from this source after you do that you want to go back out and go all the way down to device options in device options, you're gonna to go to about fire tablet and you want to click on the serial number a couple, about five to 10 times, I believe, until it says you are a developer. Like it says, no need, you are already a developer because I've already done these steps. You, then you will have the developer options. Go in developer options, by default, uh, it, it will be turned off. You're gonna to wanna to turn it on, then scroll down to USB debugging and then you wanna turn that on and then that's it. Everything else will now will now be done on the computer. So first thing you're gonna to want to do is plug in a cable, the USB cable from your com from your computer into your Fire tablet. Now on the computer, what you want to do is open up a browser and you want to do a Google search for Fire Toolbox. Uh, you can see I already have it here. So you go into the uh, the first link, which was, uh, or it should be the XDA developers. And from here, you want to scroll down. And as you can see, this shows you all the supported device from the Amazon Fire 7 uh, 2002. And it even has the 2021 Fire, 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 Fire uh, 10 and 10 Plus. And we go all the way down to the, the, the Fire HD 6 of, of 2014. So then you want to you want to go all the way down to the download section. You want to get the, uh, th version thirty one point zero. You can download either the ins the exe, which is the version I have, or the portable. Uh, if you're cautious about virus or whatever, I, 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 the safest way would be the portable. But I installed the exe just so I can have it on my desktop at all times. And you could, uh, which, you know, you know, I, I could just have this on my desktop, but yeah, that's besides the point. And if you're going to go with the EXE, you do, when you try to install it, it wouldn't, it will get a pop-up warn, warning you about it being from an unknown developer or, uh, so you want to go ahead and there's a, a little arrow, you click on the arrow and then you want to go ahead and click um, install anyway. You, basically you're, you're, you're knowing um, the risk that you're about to take. So after that, what we want to do is you want to install the Fire Toolbox and after installing it, you will launch it. When you unforce launch, you will get a pop-up on your Fire tablet after it's trying to access it. And you want to click allow from this computer. Now you will have, you will have all the access. You can click away all of this extra stuff that's showing up here. You know, you don't actually need those, but on first launch of this software, it did hang a little bit saying that it was, that it was done loading, um, resources or whatever. Uh, it's actually frozen. So what you want to do is close it for, um, you want to open up task ma ma manager and, and force close, 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 close it. And then on second launch, it will work fine. 
after you launch it the second time you will get a, a tutorial which you could just exit out you don't actually have to go go through it but you just press x and then it, uh you just press x like to close the software and then it will open up this screen that you've seen right here now you can um everything here will not work because the i mean if you have the last screen ad version you may want to try the last screen man management to, to remove the last screen ads but on my fire hd 10 plus i never removed the ads i just kept it the only thing i did was um was the, was the google search ser services which installed the play store so there was no need to do anything else and you can remove the amazon bloatwares if you want to but um some of these might not work i haven't tried I, I haven't tried any of these i i, I don't think i the only thing i i came in here and, and did was the google services and i believe that you can also um you can also stop the update i, I believe um stop, prevent it from doing um few few future updates but that's something that i didn't i also didn't use on my fire hd 10 because the only thing i did was install the play services which you might have to after update come back and reinstall but uh, i didn't mind doing that at all but so you want to go to the google services Ma manager and as you can see I, all, I already have all of these installed that's why it's saying um execute but you by by default it's going to ask you to you basically check the ones you want and then install it uh i couldn't uninstall the place i couldn't uninstall play services i can clear uh, uh cache and data and i can even do de um disable the automatic app updates so i can do all, all of that from here but i uh, and but but like I said, by default, you're gonna install. You're gonna, gonna install the Google services, which will install the Play Store. It's gonna take a couple of minutes, and you'll be up and, and ready to run. Some of these things, I, do, I believe, the one that I did try uh, was the manage Amazon apps, and it couldn't. It couldn't do it because of the. Um, it says something about the script being outdated, so I that I didn't do that. And here you can also you see the pop up here on the corner now saying that you can disable the OTA updates, and it says OTA updates enabled. I that's how I kept it. But if you want to disable the update that way, if every time you get an update, uh, you don't have to reinstall the service. Uh, 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 the Google ser ser services, you can just go ahead and disable it. I choose to keep it in, um, to keep the OTA updates enabled. And that's about it. Uh, then you will have access to the Play Store and you can go ahead and install basically as, as many apps as that, that will run on this tablet and of course i have a few of them that i already installed like the google calendar genshin impact uh asphalt 9 and uh I, and i installed the netflix from the google play store not the one that's in the in the uh, um in the in in the amazon app store and but yes you can go ahead and basically install any apps that you that can run on this tablet and yeah, now your Fire tablet is now a full-blown Android tablet. So that's it for this video. Please like, share, and leave your comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. A peace. Ah.